If you love the fresh tart taste of lemon curd, then you'll fall in love with lemon cream. Lemon curd and lemon cream are very similar as they share the same ingredients, but their method is slightly different. I love lemon cream because it's creamier, smoother, and luxurious. It's perfect spread on scones, layered in cakes and crepes. As well, you can fill it in a tart shell to make a perfect tart au citron. Stick with me to the end as I show you how to make this sumptuous recipe. I'm Chef Sally Chu. I'm a professionally trained chef and I offer baking videos every week to help you level up your baking game. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing as I offer videos every week on baking, baking with food intolerances, as well as chocolate and confections. To begin, add even pressure to the lemons by rolling them onto the counter. This will aid in the juicing process as it will help to release more juice. Next, it's time to zest the lemons. Using a sharp microplane or rasp, I begin by removing the aromatic zest from the top of the lemon, followed by the bottom of the lemon. Next, remove the zest from the sides. I zest in this order to ensure that I've removed all of the aromatic zest. Adding the fresh lemon zest to the lemon cream will provide more aromatic results to the final product. I'm only using half of my lemon zest as I'm saving the remainder for my favorite cookie dough. Next, choose the lemons. Fresh lemons are always the best option for lemon-based recipes. Avoid using bottled lemon juice as the taste is never the same. Combine egg yolks, eggs, sugar, lemon juice, and lemon zest in a mixing bowl. If we were to create a lemon curd, the butter would be added in now. But as this is a lemon cream, refrain from adding the butter until later. Over a pot of lightly simmering water, or bain-marie, stir the lemon mixture continuously to prevent the eggs from scrambling in the bowl. Continue to stir with constant motion over gentle heat. Do this until the eggs have cooked, the mixture is thickened, and has reached its optimal temperature. When making a lemon curd, by adding the butter to the mixture while cooking over the bain-marie, you'll have a softer mixture that has more spread. The color will be deeper in yellow as well. You can test if the mixture is done if it coats the back of the spoon. Strain the lemon custard with a fine mesh strainer over a mixing bowl to remove the lemon zest. Use a silicone spatula to press the mixture through the strainer to release all the lovely lemon flavor. Place a sheet of plastic wrap directly onto the lemon custard to prevent a skin from forming while cooling. Cool the mixture to 60 degrees Celsius. Now is the time to transform this humble lemon custard into a silky and luxurious lemon cream. Gradually add pieces of softened butter while blending it in with an immersion blender. You can also use a high speed blender for this job. I don't recommend using a hand whisk as using a blender or immersion blender will provide better results. It'll create smaller fat particles to create a better emulsion. Once all the butter has been incorporated, continue to blend for an additional 3 to 4 minutes. By cooling the lemon custard to 60 degrees and emulsifying the butter slowly, we are creating a stronger emulsion. It's better for spreading, it is paler in color, it is firmer in texture, it has better mouthfeel, and it carries lemon flavor over the palate much more. Transfer the lemon cream into a container and chill in the fridge. This lemon cream keeps well in the fridge for up to four days, but it can also be frozen for up to a month. This lemon cream is smooth and velvety. It is deliciously tart with a sweet citrus flavor. I love spreading this lemon cream onto cookies as it's the perfect complement to my gluten-free lemon poppy seed cookies. Do you love lemons as much as I do? Let me know in the comments on what your favorite lemon dessert is. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.